Ciao ragazzi, Lord Teox here and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. I hope you enjoy the new Teeter Mechanicus event. It's a lot of strategy, it's really challenging, I'm super happy about it. And in case you guys are struggling with that, I will leave you a link down below where you can find my guide for you. I'm sure that after you will watch the video, you will be able to progress with your level in a matter of second without any problem. But talking about the video of today, as you can see guys, I saved a lot of talisman and the reason why is because this. Stand by me. And as you can see here guys, you will be able by the end of the event to choose one of the, these six amazing Carter. Let's talk about that together. Let's start with the basics. The first obvious choice is about the Carter you want and the Carter you don't have. Maybe you want Ningguan, maybe you want Bidu, maybe you want Xingxu, I don't know. But if you really want this Carter, guys, it's there. It's 100% free. Just by playing the game, you will be able to have it. You will have a lot of fun with that. You can build it. You can save your Primogem for more character for weapon for whatever you want so don't think twice just focus on this character start uh, like get some uh, book like uh, everything you need for building this character focus on one and just get it the second thing i would like you to, to focus guys is the element of the character what i mean is all the character here and all the character in general in genshin impact have a element um, all of the element now they have a kind of I would say level of power in the game so melt reaction is much more powerful than overload for example but you really need to take in consideration and think about your team at the moment and what are your goal spiral beast defeat a boss how you want to really wish for a new future character so you want to build elemental reaction whatever is your goal whatever will make you more happy and having fun in the game that's the other things I would like you to focus on. The first one we can talk about, guys, is the Chongyu. He's a cryo character, is a claymore user, and is also one of the best four star in the game who allowed you to apply cryo on your enemy. The reason why I'm saying that is because melt is one of the most powerful reaction in the game. That means if you have a, a character like Chong Yun who can easily apply cryo on your enemy and for example you go with Dilo E who apply fire, you will create this melt reaction which allowed you to uh, deal an insane amount of damage. So the way I use Chong Yun is to burst my DPS damage. If you don't want to use it like that it's fine, uh, you can also use Chong Yun as your main DPS. So make an example, you want to build another team, you need another DPS for the Spiral Abyss, Chong Yun can be your character. One of the, the team composition I highly recommend you is the, this Perma Freeze combo where you put a Hydro character in your team, which allowed you to apply Hydro after Cryo, so having an enemy who is 99% of the time Freeze, which allowed you to not take a lot of damage. We, thanks to this claimer, you can shatter the enemy, which means deal more damage than usual. So it's a pretty good combo. You will do a good amount of damage. So definitely is one of the team composition. I recommend you where Chong Yun is your main DPS. Talking about the constellation, guys, I will really focus on the uh, on the one you uh, really need. You can take a look of the other by yourself. First constellation to take in consideration is level two. The reason why I'm saying that is because when you build your team, um, the way I play is to try to have this uh, elemental skill combo uh, rotation, where by the end you will be able to have the first elemental skill cooldown to zero and in this way you can use it again. 
This constellation will definitely help you do that. Elemental skill and elemental burst cast within the frost field, which is the field Chong Yun will have around uh, all of your character when it apply is E, created by the Spirit Blade, have their cooldown time decreased by 15%. Which means all the character you have in this field is cooldown, elemental skill cooldown will be deducted from the 15%. So if you're struggling a little bit uh, with this, uh, we are with this, I will say, rotation, definitely is one of the constellations you need to take, uh, uh, take in consideration. Sorry. The other one is constellation 6. Spirit Blade deals 15% more damage to opponent with a lower percentage of their maximum XP remain than Chong Yun. So the whole idea is that your main DPS, you want them to be protect, you want to, to have a lot of HP, which basically means that all of the other enemy, they will have less XP than your Chong Yun, which allowed you to even do 15% more damage. So those are the two constellations we need to take in consideration if you want to pick Chong Yun. Xing Shu is a Hydro character and is a Sword user. It's a very good choice for you, is actually one of my favorite between the, the six at the moment and is also part of the best team in Genshin Impact. What I mean by that is I made a video a couple of days ago where I explain why this team is the best in Genshin Impact. I will leave you a link down below in the description and Xing Shu is part of it. If you don't have any other uh, Hydro characters, such as Mona, such as Child, of course, every one of us has Barbara for the, from the main story, and of course, Barbara can heal your, uh, can heal your team, but Xing Shu is much better. Uh, his, his role in your team is the healer, and uh, can, at the same time, it can deal a lot of damage uh, of your enemy with uh, his elemental reaction combo so it's a, I would say it's a must pick for you it's a very good character uh, talking about constellation uh, the first one we are going to focus is the constellation 2 decreases the hydro resistance of the opponent hit by sword the rain which is elemental skill he by 50% for four second so the way I use uh, uh, Xin Shu of course as a healer but the second one is E, I use it uh, as this, uh, by doing this huge amount of damage as a vaporize, by apply fire first and using his elemental E for apply vaporize and deal a lot of damage. Uh, like I got very lucky with my account, so I got constellation 6 Xing Shu, and uh, with this I elemental master, I deal around 20k uh, with this E, but. Uh, that's let's uh, let's talk about that in the future but if you got constellation one and you want to go for constellation two this is definitely a must buy especially if you use a child as your main dps as you read hydro resistant uh, by sword rain attack by will be decreased by 15 percent which means all the hydro attack you will do in the future after that will be much higher than the one before. The second one is Constellation 4. So the duration of the sword Rain Cutter, which is the uh, uh, is a Q ability, is ultimate, call it like that, the damage by uh, is E ability is increased by 50%. So it's a kind of combo where you need to be able to use his E and his Q at the same time. Uh, so it's you need to combine a little bit this but it's definitely worth it to pick the last one is constellation six um, if you want that if you're i would say if you're really constellation five and uh, you don't want to pick any other character you can go for constellation six that will make uh, your xing shu much more stronger but if you already have the other constellation and you want to choose another character, uh, go for the other character. This is like putting, uh, as we said, like a, 
cherries on top of the cake because you really finish your karate you have a constellation six you're happy uh, you can build it this like super powerful but activate to ultimate is war rain attack at the same time will like it's, it's not that easy to do it so yes you can go for it but again if you need to choose for another character and you already have constellation 5 on Xing Shu, just go for the other card. It's better. The last things really important about Xing Shu are those two passive talent. So the first one is uh, gains 20% of hydro damage bonus. So as we talked before, Vaporize and everything will make you a lot like deal more damage but this is like you just need to level up the character and you can have it but the most important one is this one when Qin Chu craft character talent material he has a 25% chance to refound a portion of the crafting material this one will save you a huge amount of raisins guys a huge amount of uh, uh, farming because Imagine you farm for four and you got really lucky and you can get part of it back That will allow you to save a lot of resin. So this is I will not say the only reason why you should get Chin Shu, but if you if you don't want to use the other character or if you Really if you don't want to build it like just just take it and uh, You level up. I think it's uh, like level 20 or 40. I don't remember anymore. I'm sorry, but you can get this talent and uh, and you have it and you can just use it for this passive talent and it's so good. That's it. A lot of people they might be going to kill me right now, but I'm sorry guys, I don't really like Ning Guan. It's a geo character, is a catalyst uh, user. I don't really use catalyst uh, uh, character in my team in general. But uh, I don't really like Ning one guys. I'm sorry. It's such a huge uh, uh, main DPS can be such a huge main DPS for your team But to be honest guys, I don't think this is the moment for build another DPS. It's like uh, Most of us there at some point where they already have two or maybe three DPS and uh, Why you need to spend all these resources time? Uh, uh, raisins and everything for build another one I think you should rather focus on other character, maybe someone who can burst your damage or whatever, but not in Ning one at the moment. I know maybe the Geo buff is very tempted. I know his passive skill with uh, like 10% bonus of Geo damage is very good. Maybe you already have Zong Glee, maybe you already have Noel, so you, you're looking for a huge combo Geo combo, so why not? But I don't think it's worth it. Also, if we're talking about uh, uh, Constellation uh, uh, Ning Guan, you really need Constellation 6 for having a, a huge game changing for her. So, to be fair, guys, I don't really recommend it. But, talking about Constellation, Constellation 2 is the first one you really need to focus. Jade screen is shutter, is cooldown will reset, which means when the jade screen, which is uh, his elemental skill, will create this uh, kind of wall which will protect you for taking damage if you are behind and if you are passing through you will take 10% of more uh, geo damage. It uh, will be broken or it's done or whatever. Your cooldown will be reset right away, which means you can have a jade screen up right away which is a super good combo if you have, for example, Zongli Pillar on the field because both will deal damage in the surrounding area. Also, have a Jade screen up all the time will allow you to deal more damage when you're ulti and that will connect us to the Constellation 6, the other one you should focus, with the Start Jades. So, when you have Star Shutter ulti, on uh, Ningguan, all the Star Jades around Ningguan will attack different enemies. Of course, the more you have, uh, the more you will deal damage, and the more you have, the more you will deal damage to different enemies. So, having Constellation 2 and having Constellation 6 at the same time, it's a huge game changer. But 
using constellation just constellation 2 and you want to start building ning one as a main dps required a lot of work a lot of artifact a lot of time so maybe think about twice before you pick ning one going over to the next one guys we have bidu so it's an electro character is a claymore user so again it's one of the other character I will probably recommend you, but there is a but. So unfortunately, talking about, like we said before, the element in the game, they have different level of power. And at the moment, Electro is not one of the most powerful. Uh, so Bidu can be used as your main DPS, can be used, um, most of us, they use it as a burst damage, but, uh, Electro, since it's not that powerful compared to the other, uh, it doesn't make Bidu worth it to uh, spend this 100 talisman and have this character compared uh, to the other. So even if she has a kind of cool mechanic with this shield where she basically counter attack and deal, thanks to that she would deal more damage, maybe again she's at the moment your main dps so just keep it it's very good but compared to the other is not as worth it as maybe a chong yun or a ching chu and um, it's kind of sad about that because i really like the character I really like the shield mechanic uh, and i think electro in general it's a, a element uh, who should be like uh, burst a little bit uh, like we should take it to a little bit next level but uh, we will see in the future with the new update uh, what is gonna happen but don't focus too much on video at the moment uh, talking about constellation the one you should focus uh, is the level two the first one where the stonebreaker arc lightning can jump to additional target the stonebreaker is is a shield mechanic where basically you pop a shield, uh, you are waiting for some enemy to attack you, and if you do it at the right time, uh, you will deal an immense, uh, immense amount of damage with your counter attack. So instead of having one and focus on one, you can jump to two additional targets, which means your electro damage will go spread around the two uh, additional targets super good especially if you use it uh, uh, to protect other character there maybe are in cooldown uh, elemental skill is cooldown so you want to protect them or you want to get some uh, uh, elemental party cell for your ulti and so on this is a very good constellation uh, the other one who can be uh, again changing of course is constellation 6 so during the duration of the Stonebreaker, the electro resistance of the surrounding opponent is decreased by 15%. Which means that if you use uh, Beidou as your main DPS, that simply will deal more electro damage, that will deal, which means you can kill your enemy much faster, and that's allowed you to go and progress on your level, especially in the Spiral Abyss much faster next character we're going to talk about is Chinyan. thank you so much miyoyo for this very complicated name that an italian uh, cannot even pronounce but Chinyan, pyro character claymore user and why she's doing like that with the face <laughs> i don't know it's very weird <laughs> anyway uh, she's a Claymore user and uh, between the other uh, six characters, she's uh, one of the most, uh, I would say, elaborate and complicated to build. Uh, she will bring to your team an a huge amount of uh, physical damage buff and that's also uh, how you want to build your Qin Yang. Uh, his pyro elemental skill will activate a shield around you and it will also deal pyro damage. Uh, but uh, after that, uh, the, your shield will allow you to make more damage, but uh, the damage is not pyro. It will still be white, I would say like that, so you need to build the Xiangin as a physical damage main DPS. Of course, his ultimate is very good if all the characters around you 
are for example uh, wet so they are like uh, uh, affected by hydro so you can be a, a lot of vaporized and it's a, ulti, it's a very cool one to see with his guitar all around uh, the area it's kind of huge range I will say uh, but uh, again it's a main most of the people uh, they might be will build it as a main DPS we talk about that already uh, multiple times yes can be your burst damage dealer with this pyro because pyro is, pyro is such a huge um, element very powerful but I'm not really such a huge fan of the this card it's very complicated to build at the same time but uh, talking about constellation uh, constellation 2 is the first one you should focus so physical damage as is crit rate increased by 100% so um, don't get me wrong this is a huge, a huge, huge constellation. If you have one and you think maybe to go of DPS Xin Yan, you definitely want to go for it. That's allowed you to have a critical rate increase by 100%, which means um, all the attack you do, they're gonna be crit. So all the attack you do, they're gonna deal an insane amount of damage and will form a shield that shield level three rave when cast so it's a huge improvement for your card it's a huge improvement for your main dps so you should definitely consider to go for level two the other one we can take in consideration can be maybe four just because reef revolution it's a very good uh, skill for her so i allowed you to uh, like upgrade it a little bit higher and also have already a level 3 but the one we need to really focus is of course constellation 6 so decrease the stamina consumption and charge attack by 30% additionally charge attack gain an attack bonus of equal to 50% of her defense so in this case the game will uh, guide you a little bit of where maybe you soup stop so you want to get on your artifact so since we know we are getting a lot of defense substats if you have a main stat who is good then you might have a little bit of death this is definitely something you should take in consideration and it's very good also we know most of the claymore user they consume a lot of stamina in all the attack charge and not charge so this constellation six it's very good this is normally just, I would say, for well, because getting Constellation 6 Qin Yan it's something I would say you really want, because you really want to build her as a main DPS. So, one going for two, I think it's such a big improvement. If you are level, if you're already Constellation 5, you want to go for 6 and use your main DPS already, just go for it. But don't focus too much. Okay, the last character we're gonna talk about uh, together, guys, is uh, Shang Li. So, before that, uh, normally 99% of us guys they're supposed to have Shang Li already. So, if you beat Spiral Abyss uh, uh, level 3, you will get it for free. But that was uh, a couple of like a month ago, especially at the beginning. So, if you start uh, against Shin Impact now, or maybe you start two to three months ago, and of course, you cannot get it for free. This is definitely a character I recommend. This is definitely a character you should take in consideration. Uh, one of the first reasons why I say that is because she can be uh, used as a main DPS, which I use it for a long time, and also as a your burst damage dealer. Is ulti pyro tornado. It's super good. Uh, we're gonna talk about the constellation also in a second where you have a constellation who allowed you to have the pyro tornado in the field even more uh, so but when you cast his ulti uh, the pyro tornado will be around you and she will, uh, will deal a lot of pyro damage and you can switch character use for example side cryo character for a flying melt or even another uh, fire character for doing more pyro damage and uh, it's, it's very good uh, Changlin is a polearm user, so she uses spear and uh, also Zhongli, you know, it's my favorite character and this is also why I recommend you to use Changlin. Moveset, uh, 
uh, his charge attack is very good so definitely it's a, a card that you need to take in consideration start for the talent uh, first this time guys this pepperoncino chili pepper increase attack by 10% for 10 seconds it's one of the best passing talent you can have if you use uh, Changlin as your main damage boost so basically she will uh, summon this uh, bear this bear will deal pyro damage and as soon the bear is out uh, the bear will leave on the field this chili pepper you switch to your main dps you take this chili pepper and you will have a 10 percent damage attack for free and uh, i would like you to focus in this old percentage of buff attack at the moment because we're gonna build a buff thanks to chong lin for around 50 to 60 percent uh, which is make it one of the best uh, the damage support uh, dam sorry burst damage for you so let's start with the 10 percent after that we're going to the constellation constellation 2 is the first one you want to take in consideration if you use chunk lean as your main dps so instead of going for a charge attack at the end when you use a chunk lean you need to go for a normal attack the way i'm saying that is because constellation 2 allowed you to have this pyro io damage uh, apply to the last enemy where you use the normal attack which allowed you to have a 70 per 75 percent of changlin attack when you explode so you will deal more pyro damage uh, which is also can combine with a melt reaction if you use dps changlin talking about level 4 constellation the one i talked to you about before pyro tornado duration in is increased by 30 percent this is a huge constellation for Changlin that allowed you to have the Pyro Tornado in the field for more time, which means more damage, more reaction. In general, it's such a huge constellation. So if you're ready, three, and you wanna go for four, go for it. The last one, very important, and that's why we're finishing uh, the uh, explanation about uh, the percentage we are, I said before is because for the duration of the pyro tornado which the ulti which is already increased by 40 percent thanks to this constellation 4 all party members receive a 15 percent of pyro damage and you say yeah it's good but if you don't have a pyro uh, damage dealer why i should use it fair enough if you use chong yun if you use a child if you use someone else as your main dps i understand but for someone like me who use d look i will already have three buff in my team ready for me the first one is this 15 percent pyro damage bonus the second one is the chili pepper 10 percent and the third one is you might know two pyro character in the same team will allow you to have an extra buff on your attack so basically after you combine all these three percentage you will have a result of an insane amount of damage just for having these two character on the team and not necessarily on the field so if you are constellation 5 i definitely recommend you for constellation 6 if you use a chunk lead as your main dps burst damage thank you so much for watching guys i'm sure that after you watch this video you will be able to make the best choice for you and for your account don't forget to like and subscribe and check all the other video i post in the description they are very interesting see you next time ciao ciao